Hello there, Jamie here from MessengerBot, and today we are here to learn how to create a sales funnel in Messenger with MessengerBot. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for your free trial at messengerbot.app. Have you ever considered creating a sales funnel? Think it's complicated and overwhelming? Don't know where to begin? As an entrepreneur, you realize marketing's importance in the absence of marketing. Your business would ultimately fail due to the lack of new customers. Therefore, if you haven't already put time and effort into this task, and one easy way to start is the utilization of Messenger Bot as a sales funnel. So now, what is a sales funnel? A sales funnel is the marketing term for the voyage potential client goes through on the way to buy. There are different steps to a sales funnel, commonly known as the top, middle, and bottom of the funnel. Even though these steps may vary depending on a business's sales model, a typical sales funnel has four stages. 1. Awareness. 2. Interest. 3. Decision. And 4. Action. These four stages represent your prospective customer's mindset. A sales funnel is started by marketing activities that generate awareness and build demand for a product or service, such as social media posts, paid ads, blogging on relevant topics for your target audience, ad retargeting, or SEO. At this stage, the prospects are in huge amounts. Moving a customer through the funnel is carefully designed to raise consciousness and inform the customer about the benefits of your products to move them toward making a buying decision. Over time, Customers go down through the sales funnel, from primary contact to final purchase, as they learn more about your product and get interested in your product and make the final decision to purchase it. When they become your customer, you may send them more offers on your other products that may be related to the particular product. Creating a sales funnel using Messenger Bot. In this article, I am going to describe the features which will need two more add-ons for Messenger Bot. 1. Email and SMS sequence campaign add-on. 2. Messenger bot user input and custom fields add-on. The first thing you need to do is collect leads. When a customer comes to your Facebook Messenger, you need to collect their email or phone number. You can offer a free ebook or anything related to your product as a gift to collect their email or phone. In this case, the ebook is the lead magnet. Now you have leads instead of prospects. They are moving through your sales funnel. There are three ways in Messenger Bot to collect leads. You can use Quick Reply, Web View, and User Input Flow and Custom Field, a Messenger Bot add-on. This is the example of Lead Magnet. Add Email Sender and SMS Sender API to send email and SMS. Before we create the sales funnel, we need to add the email slash SMS sender API. We will see how to add email sender API or SMTP server. To add an email sender API or SMTP server, go to broadcasting, email API settings and the actions. I have added an SMTP API here. You can add Madrill, SendGrid and Mailgun API too. Then click on new SMTP API. Now that we have set up the SMTP API, Messenger Bot can handle the rest to send follow-up emails. Go to Messenger Bot then Bot Settings, select your Facebook page, and then go to General Settings. In the right side under SMS Sequence Integration and Email Sequence Integration choose the APIs you want to use for the sequence campaign. Assign leads to email, SMS, Messenger Sequence. The most effective sales funnel could be created by using the user input flow and custom field. Also, you must need another add-on of Messenger bot named email slash SMS sequence campaigner. We will create an email or SMS sequence first and then assign the sequence to leads, email and phone. Please follow steps to create a successful sales funnel. Step 1. Creating email slash SMS sequence. Go to Messenger Bot then Bot Settings. 
When you click on Actions under the Bot setting, the Bot Settings interface will appear. Select your Facebook page and then go to Sequence Message Setting and click on Change Settings. A drop-down menu will appear with Messenger Sequence Settings and SMS slash Email Sequence Settings. Click on SMS slash Email Sequence Settings to create an SMS slash Email Sequence. In the same window, on the right side, the SMS slash Email Sequence interface will appear. Click on the Add Sequence button. Give a name for the campaign, then select the type of sequence from email, SMS. Then sequence time, we can create two types of sequence, one is 24 hours and the other one is daily. Here I have selected daily because I will create a sequence campaign that will last for few days. You can also create a campaign for 24 hours. Sending different emails or SMS on the same day within 24 hours. You can also change the starting and closing time. Select your time zone. Then select the email template from the drop-down list for days you want to send an email. You can add new template and add more days to the campaign. On the first day of email sequence, click on the plus, add new template to create an email template, and then set it for the email sequence. On day one of the sequence I will add the first email template, email with the greetings. For day two I will not send any email. And on day three I will set my second email, sending to the sales page. Finally, save the campaign. You can add more days to send more emails to the sequence if you want to. You can create different SMS slash email sequences for a different group of leads. And assign them accordingly. You can also create a messenger sequence. But Facebook Messenger allows you to send a promotional message only within 24 hours of the subscription. Step 2. Assign the sequence while creating user input flow. To create a user input flow, go to Messenger Bot then User Input Flow and Custom Field and click on Actions then click on User Input Flow Campaign. When you click on User Input Flow Campaign, the Flow Campaign list interface will appear. At the top left corner, you can see a button named New Flow. Click on this button to create a new user input flow. An interface to create a new user input flow will appear. Give the campaign a name and choose the Facebook page for which you want to create the user input flow. From the left side choose a question type. Here I have selected email to collect the user's email. Write the message to ask for the email. With every question there is a settings button. Click on Settings button. From the settings, assign the SMS slash email sequence and messenger sequence for the lead. Here I have selected email to collect the user's email. Write the message to ask for the email. Save the user input flow and then add this user input flow to the messenger bot. Sales funnel without user input flow and custom field, a messenger bot add-on. You can also create a sales funnel without user input flow and custom field. There are two ways other than user input flow and custom field to collect a user's email and phone number. You can use quick reply and web view to collect leads and then assign SMS slash email sequence to those leads. But this is limited to only one particular SMS slash email sequence at a time. But with the use of user input flow and custom field, to create an SMS slash email sequence for leads collected by Quick Reply and WebView go to Messenger Bot to Bot Settings then General Settings. And select the SMS sequence campaign and email sequence campaign on the perspective field as shown below. Here you can also optimize your sales funnel using abandoned cart recovery. If you use Messenger Bot to create an e-commerce store on Messenger, if you use Messenger Bot to create an e-commerce store on Messenger and customers leave the e-commerce store after adding products to the cart, abandoned cart recovery could be used to send a notification to the buyer with a message.